I came back here with another Foff Mailer repair. This is uh, Judy and Ron's machine. Okay. Uh, Ron's her son. So, anyway. But uh, this is $11.99. And they sent it to me because they were having problems with it. Uh, they had a cracked cam stack. Okay, this is their cam stack. And uh, she wanted it go gone over check everything else out. Uh, this machine does not have a IDT foot uh, and, and it does not have a synchromatic stop system on it. It is just a plain basic machine. It also has only the five buttons on top. It's not a full pattern assembly. So <clears throat> the other thing I found curious about this is that it has basically manual buttonhole okay so that's the buttonhole that does it you have to move it yourself it doesn't have a little button on the side for doing that um, this machine is curious because this machine is the only machine so far that I've seen uh, and I'm there's probably more of them out there I just haven't come across them yet this machine, if you look, there is a setting that you can go from 110 volts, or like they have their 130 volts, to 250 volts. So it can, just by the switch, you can switch it over. And uh, this is a German sh machine. She brought it back from Germany, uh, Judy did. And... Uh, so it was easier enough for her to switch over. She just had to change the plug-in. So um, it worked out pretty good. Uh, this guy up here, I don't know if you've seen it, um, but this little piece, this is hers. Okay, this is not for sale. So if somebody asks me, just to let you know, that's Judy's. <laughs> okay, now this comes with the original foot, foot pedal, okay. Uh, you've seen them. Uh, I had one other one on on one of my videos. Okay, to show you what's in this foot. Okay, this is what's in this foot. It has a coil, just like the old crystal radios. Okay, and it has a capacitor. All right, when you squeeze it, it runs up. The little arm here will run up and push on. The coil, just like the crystal, old crystal AM radios that they had. Um, one problem is, is that these little coils, they tend to break. And hers, her original one here, this is her original one. It got some corrosion on it, and it actually snapped the wire. So the machine wasn't working right after I got it because this little, it would, the speed on it and everything wouldn't work right. Uh, the other thing is, this machine does not have a, a regular circuit board, so um, if she goes to change this pedal, she's going to have to give me a call or send me an email because it's she might not be able to do it with the conventional ones, so I have to look at that. Um, this pedal also comes in another form where it doesn't have the coil and everything on it, but it, and, and the capacitor, it has just a little board that slides in here, and the finger just rides up and down on that. If you have one of those pedals, uh, you're good to go. You can, you know, if it wears out, you can buy a new one. Um, I do have some of the little um, potentiometer boards that go in here, and I'll have to see if they'll fit this this um, pedal, so if it'll work for it. So enough said with that. <coughs> Uh, I did all your patterns, Judy, okay? Um, the buttonhole was a little, little different. I had to practice with it. I do, I do practice, okay? I, I do my sew outs and I do several of them to get, uh, the different stitches and, you know, this one has a little bit on the buttonhole. It, it didn't come out right in the beginning and I had to just play with it until I figured out how to do it. Um, but all her, your stitches 
are now working <laughs> fine, okay? And these are all the stitches that are on the machine. I'm sure if I had her um, booklet, there might be a few more, okay? Uh, the one thing about the triple stitch, okay? I've been trying to get them to come out pretty well. Uh, when you do this triple stitch, you need the little plastic foot, okay? This is mine. I'm not selling it. Uh, I need it to repair the machines, okay? But normally, when you do this triple stitch, okay, you're going to want to take a, like, embroidery thread or something. It, it says in the manual, okay, to use a plastic foot and, like, an embroidery thread and a certain sized needle, and it'll come out better. But it should, if you are running the machine on the regular foot, okay, it should give you a stitch. It might not look great, but it should give, give you somewhat of a okay stitch. All right. If you want it better, then use the plastic foot. <laughs> okay. So let's do a little sewing here. I'll set this up so I can show Judy. All right. This is my five layers of denim. All right. And I'll just show you. Got my tension set up there. Okay. And it went right through it. This other stitch before I had one of the select buttons on top accidentally pushed so it came out a little funny. But there's your five layers of denim. Here's your four layers of canvas. Okay. And then it went straight through it. It goes straight through them. So, and that sounded a little, little bit louder. Like I said, it, the material is a little bit denser, so it has to push it through it. Here's just a regular piece of cotton demo, and you can hear the difference. Okay. So there you go. Um. Okay, well, that's it. If I have any room at the l end of the video, YouTube only allows me 10 minutes um, per video. So if I have any um, room, I'll, p I'll put the board up, a couple of pictures up, so that you can see the board and see the motor. The motor is definitely different. It doesn't have the fan. It, it has just one capacitor or something on it, and that's it. That's all that's in the machine. So... All right, well, I'll be sending this back to them, and they'll be happy to see it. Okay, thank you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.